Welcome to another episode of Half Pink. Half Pint Cooking. Kate is here with me today, and what are we gonna make? Caramel popcorn. I mean, what are you gonna make? Caramel popcorn. Caramel popcorn. Guys, this caramel popcorn is a family favorite, and it's old. We've used it for years and years and years, and it's gooey. You know those caramel, that caramel popcorn that's gooey. It's not the crunchy kind. I do have a good recipe for the crunchy kind, so stay tuned for that because we're gonna be making that soon. Popcorn season, in my opinion, right? Corn, fall, popcorn. I just love popcorn all the time. So, we are gonna start. And with this recipe, my brother has perfected it. And he says you have to use the really top ingredients. And so you do have to spend a little more and you have to get the Oral Redenbacher or really good high quality corn kernels. Um, for the caramel, you have to get Eagle brand. It's just a little bit more expensive, but the quality is way better. If, that, if you don't have any on hand, it's gonna be okay, but for the top quality, best caramel popcorn, get the high, good quality Eagle brand, get the brand name Caro syrup, not just the generic corn syrup, and then of course, always get the CNH brown sugar, but be careful with that because you've got to read the label and make sure it just the only ingredient is brown sugar. Some of the other brands and even some of the CNH is sugar with added with molasses and that's how they make it brown. But you want the one that is just pure brown sugar. Okay, Kate's having a hard time opening this. <gasps> you just gotta use strength. Okay, I have tried caramel popcorn with buttered microwave popcorn and it gives it the sweet and the salty and it's pretty good, but the best is just air popping some popcorn. So this is just a cheap air popper. I've had it since college. It was really cheap and I've really liked it. There's nothing special about it. So with this popper, we're gonna fill up our little cup. Now this is gonna make a lot of caramel popcorn, so be prepared for that. And you can share it with your friends, neighbors, whatever. We dump it in. Ours, there's no on and off switch, so when you turn it on, it has to be, to turn it on, we have to plug it in. So we put it in. Do you wanna plug it in? Okay, so it is gonna make a lot. I'm gonna have to do this three or four times, and we're gonna fill up my two big bowls here, and I'll tell you how many cups it ends up being in the end. But you want all of your caramel popcorn popped before you make your caramel because it's really fast moving after your caramel is done. So they have some pretty cool lids and special bowls that have little holes and so you can shake it out and get the kernels out. I don't make this enough that it's worth it for me to buy it and keep it in my kitchen so I don't have one. But one of my pet peeves is eating caramel popcorn and biting into a seed and it breaks your teeth and it's really hard. So the way I sort it is I just grab handfuls, light handfuls, and I kind of shake it off. Oh, we're gonna put it in this so I can measure how much we're making. I'm just gonna throw away these little pieces and the seeds. And sometimes there are seeds left in our bowl too, so we're gonna dump those out. One and a half cups of corn kernels gave us about 40 cups of popped popcorn. So we have our 40 cups of popped popcorn, and now we're gonna get three cups of brown sugar. Guys, caramel popcorn is not healthy. But this is a lot of popcorn, but it's also a lot of sugar. So this is three cups of lightly packed CNH brown sugar. Okay, and then with our brown sugar, we are gonna do one and a quarter cups of our caro syrup. Remember the good brand. One and a quarter cup. I want to pour it in. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the stove. Okay, we're at our stove. We've got it up to a pretty high temperature and we just want to let this boil. Okay, as soon as this comes to a boil, we're gonna add our condensed milk, our sweetened condensed milk, so I'm gonna have that open and ready while Kate stirs it. Make sure to scrape down the sides too because you don't want the sugar to crystallize on the sides. Okay, it's starting to boil around the edges. That's not a full complete boil, so you make sure that it boils everywhere, okay? 
So I do have to say the more you stir it, the slower it is going to be to boil because you're mixing it around and it's not sitting there feeling the heat. But I don't want it to get some weird things. So we just keep stirring it every once in a while. It's boiling now. It's happening in the middle. Kate, do you want to pour that in? I just pour, um... Put it in here. Okay, now once it comes up to a boil again, scrape the sides, make sure you're not getting any stuff left on the sides. Okay, so as soon as this boils again to a rolling boil, we're gonna add one cube of butter, which is one half of a cup of butter. You gotta be patient, but it comes to just the right temperature. If you go too hard or too high, then the caramel gets hard and then you have hard caramel popcorn, so you don't wanna do that. Okay, you wanna pick it up and just put it in? Okay, you wanna make it fall in. Okay, so we add one cube of butter and then one pinch of salt. So you just wanna grab a pinch just like that. Uh-huh, and this is kosher salt. We're just gonna put it in. Just a little bit of salted caramel here. And then we're gonna wait for this butter to melt. I wanna stir it. Okay. Keep scraping the sides too. Oh, yum, doesn't that caramel look so good? Okay, once it's melted, let it cook for just a few extra seconds. Scraping the sides. Okay, you can see that there's no crystals in there. It's just nice and smooth. And this is perfect. I'm gonna show you a cool little trick though. Let's get over to the counter. Okay, here's our caramel. And we kind of want to move fast from this point, but I'm gonna show you this. Here's a glass of water, and it's about lukewarm water. I'm gonna get a little caramel on my spoon and I'm gonna drip it in here. Look, so it dripped in there. I'm gonna get my fingers. And if I can wrap it around and I can form it into a little ball, then your caramel, look, it's just a soft caramel. Do you wanna eat it? Okay, I will. Pretty cool, huh? So that's kinda how you can tell if it's done. Now we're gonna carefully pour this. Make sure you have an adult's help with this because this is really, really hot. I'm gonna do our big bowl first. And I'm going to pour carefully over the top of our popcorn. And I want a little more than half of it in this bowl. And then the rest of it in that bowl. Okay, you've gotta get under it and stir it because all this caramel is just dripping to the bottom. So when you stir, go from the bottom, move it up. Make sure every piece of corn, of popcorn, gets covered in caramel. So when I was little, we loved getting to the bottom because a lot of caramel would still seep to the bottom even though we thought we stirred it really well. So the bottom just had extra layers of caramel. Okay guys, how does that look? You give it a thumbs up? Mm-hmm. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and stay tuned for our other videos coming up. <laughs> wait for it, wait for it. Good. Mm -hmm. When I grow up, I want to be a um, hair slaughter. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still popping.